Hi everybody, welcome to my page. I want to remind you, if you love the video and you find it informative, please click and subscribe. And so we're going to get right into this video. This video is about seven signs and there are more. I might go over more here. But from my own experience, signs that you are about to meet the love of your life, okay? And we all... Sometimes the love of our life is ourselves, okay? <laughs> we forget that we have to love ourselves first and give ourselves that love vibration. Basically turning on your love beacon, okay? In order to attract the love of your life. Okay, just want to get it together. So we're going to get started. I wrote it down and I'm going to go over strategically with you because this is what helped me to understand when love was actually coming my way. Okay. And how I met my twin flame. So, um, the one thing is that they will know and accept you as you are. When they meet you, they're not going to try to change you and say, Oh, if you were this taller, shorter, smarter, or something or the other, they're going to love you just the way that your beans and rice is cooked, okay? They're going to love you just the way that you are. If you're tall, they're going to love that. If you're short, they're going to love that. If you big-chested like me, you're gonna, they're going to love that. You know, you're going to attract what you love. And you can only attract what you are. So that's one thing I want to share with people. This is from um, the list of questions that I get on a regular basis about twin flames and how to attract one. But you cannot attract, sorry, my nose is itching, which just means this is a great topic. You cannot attract what you are not. I have guys and my clients and I ask them what they're looking for. Oh, I want a 10. What's a 10? Why do you guys put stuff on labels like that? Uh, you know, I want a 10, I want a 100. Well, what are you? Are you considered a 10? Because I'm assuming in my mind with all the people that I work with, I don't like to label people and say, oh, you're a 10 and you're a 3 because we're all God's self. So there's no one higher than you. It's all about the vibration. You are going to vibrate and attract the person that feels the same way that you feel. That's how that works. So again, the seven signs that you are about to meet the love of your life. Okay, that's one. You have romantic dreams about being with the person and you're intimate with them. So this I wrote says you have romantic dreams about being intimate with someone and um, it's magical. You'll wake up feeling happy. You're going to wake up feeling joyful, happy, energized, and like you've actually had this love session with your lover. You're going to feel like, oh my God, that was so amazing. Because before I met my lover, I actually used to have these very vivid dreams like I was making love to my lover we were all entangled and the love making was so amazing and it was just something that I never experienced before so I mean just bells going off in the whole nine okay that's number two okay um, number three is um, you work on yourself you dedicate time to yourself you go to school you learn a trade you do something But I wrote here you work on yourself. You dedicate time to your personal development um, Many people are attracted to someone that is working on themselves and a person that is comfortable in their own skin So if you're comfortable in your own skin, if you're working on yourself, you're working out you are um, engaged in activities that help you to grow and help you to expand your knowledge and awareness of your God self, of anything that you want to learn. You are attracting your love mate to you. Okay, that was number three. Somehow I labeled these kind of crazy. So that's one, this is two, that was three. Okay. Okay, the next one, that was number three. Number four is, you know your life's purpose. If you know your life's purpose, your beacon is turned on to attract whatever it is that you want to attract. So I say your beacon, that means that you know your life's purpose. You know what it is that you want to create in your life. Say you want to become a chef. Or you want to go to school to become a race car driver, okay? Or you want to open up your own construction business. Or you want to open up your own plumbing business. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do. You know the purpose. And that will attract more of a love vibration towards your frequency. Because you know what you want. You know what you want to experience in life. And that will actually 
makes you look more attractive. So the fact that I am in school getting my metaphysics degree and getting my doctorate in metaphysics, since I've done that, I can tell you, I was talking to a guy who was a doctor, a vegan doctor, and I try to be a doctor and, um, and attract someone who's vegan, who's conscious and aware and into spirituality, sexuality, um, working out. That's a lot of stuff to want from one person. And I actually met somebody yesterday. So <laughs> we talked, we chatted for a while. Um, he was a vegan, he's a doctor. Um, you know, seem to be charismatic, but I look at that as a, like a, uh, a trickle to the tsunami. Okay. I know that my good is already mine. I don't have to call it into being because I have to just vibrate that energy. So, okay. That was number four. Let's keep going. Well, really what I wrote here was when you have no purpose in life, you attract people with no purpose in life. So I, my nose is really itching. I did that. I was in a relationship with somebody for 12 years who has no purpose in life. He just say, I got to get a job and I have to work. And I would tell him, well, consider you don't. I mean, you've met me working for somebody else and now I have my own business. And I started with one business and I have several other businesses that I do and I work for myself. And if you can see that someone in your life is doing that, but you want to stay in a vibration of what you can't do, it just doesn't match. It's like putting oil with water. Okay, number five. Okay, number five is love seems to be everywhere. You'll see people in love. You'll hear love songs. It'll just be a float of love. Every time you look around, somebody will be holding hands and kissing and running together, working together, working out together, doing something together. You're just going to see love butterflies everywhere. Okay, you're going to be like, what is this love zone? Have I, have I got to a love town? <laughs> you're just going to start seeing love everywhere. Okay, that lets you know love is coming towards you. Okay, it's looking for you. Okay, so let's keep going. Number six is... You know what you want, okay? The type of person you can see yourself with, the career, their core values. You know what kind of person you want. You know that you will not settle. I settled, and it is the most horrific thing that you can do to yourself is to settle for someone because they are not going to be the person that you are supposed to be with anyway if you have to settle for them. Never settle. Never, ever, ever freaking settle. I did it. It's horrible. Don't do it. Okay? It's It will just stifle your growth. You can't grow if you're in a relationship with someone who is not growing. Sorry. That's just the point blank. I've experienced it myself, and I want to tell you what not to do for my own experience. Okay? Number seven. Let's keep going. I don't want to make this video very long. Your energy levels are high. You keep negative people around you. This energy attracts it to yourself. This energy attracts itself to your energy. So get rid of toxic people, family, and friends. Your energy levels are high. That is number seven. You want to keep your energy level as high as possible. Stay in a good, joyful, abundant frequency and then your lover will attract themselves to you because you're feeling joyful, happy. You wake up feeling amazing. That's what you are going to attract to yourself is a good vibration. So stay in a good vibration. Okay, number eight is you put your trust in the universe. The universe is God. The universe is God self. The universe is you. Okay, you put trust in yourself that you will attract and that you can attract the love of your life. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it if you say you can do it. If you say that there is a person out there for me, specifically, they're, they're tall, they're my height, they're my size, they're juicy, they're uh, conscious, they love to work out, they like to travel, they love children, or they like dogs, or they like living on the beach and walking on the beach or making love on the beach every day. Whatever your thing is, you want to see yourself vibrating in that vibration with that person, okay? And we're on number eight. You put trust in the universe and put trust in yourself. You have to trust yourself that you can attract the right person. If you keep saying, like my clients will say, there is no good men out there. There are no good men out there. There are no good women out there. 
And believe it or not, women used to say that, but most of my men clients that I work with now are saying, Mona, there are not a lot of women out there like you who like to be like intimacy and they're beautiful and they're talented and they want to worship their man every day. There are not women out there like you. There are women out there like me. If you say that there are, I'm here. <laughs> 